A Japanese space capsule carrying rare asteroid material has touched down back on Earth after a six-year journey covering almost six billion kilometers. Japanese space agency staff applauded as the capsule detached from the probe Hiabusa 2 and began its final approach to Earth. The craft landed at a remote base in Australia. The probe collected rock and soil samples billions of years old from the distant asteroid Ryugo. Scientists hope the material will provide clues about the origins of the universe and of life itself. Let's bring in Sulfikar Avani from DW Science Desk for more on this. Sulfikar, welcome. The capsule has landed. What do we know about its return journey and the samples it's carrying? Well, from all reports so far, the return journey was very smooth. Uh, it's being described as an historic event. And indeed, it is quite historic to have these samples returned to Earth. It's not the first time it's happened, but it is one of these sort of part of a growing speed and race to bring samples back from, say, the moon or an asteroid or other planets, you know, hopefully at some point very soon, say Mars. Um, so it landed and um, the helicopter has been out. It's uh, the, the location has been uh, discovered, has been detected. Um, and of course, then uh, teams are going to go out to actually secure the samples because they have to make sure that the samples are secure and not damaged in any way. Some of the samples could be damaged. Um, so that's where we're at right now. But of course, it's uh, very early in the morning um, in uh, local time in Australia, middle of the night in Japan when this landed. Um, but uh, the sun should be coming up very soon in Australia. So they should be uh, rushing out there to, to find out what's going to happen now or what's next in store for the samples. Once it is secured, what will happen to the precious cargo here on Earth? Well, um, JAXA, the Japanese space agency, is uh, you know a very uh, collaborative uh, space agency. Um, the samples are usually distributed from a mission such as that, such as this to international teams. I think the first thing will be though that uh, Japanese and Australian teams will have to look at the the samples, and then they'll be distributed um, uh, to to Europe and to, to the US, no doubt, so that people can actually investigate these samples to see what's in them, to see about the 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 origins of our solar system, of our universe. And of course, these sort of pristine, precious bodies that have been swirling around for billions of years. Um, and so we can find out about ourselves, but also work out what sort of resources there are out there for the future of space exploration, human space flight, building bases on the moon or on Mars and what have you. So there's a lot to be dis discovered here. The Hayabusa 2 mission doesn't end here. Where does the probe go next? Well, it's, it's actually quite amazing. Let me get my numbers uh, correct for once. It's actually already about 40,000 kilometers away from Earth already, traveling at 30 kilometers per second. It's on its way to another asteroid, a very small asteroid called 1998KY26. It's a tiny thing, and this is one of those sort of those asteroids that could be a potential problem for Earth. It's a near-Earth object um, that uh, could be, you know, what, what they talk about, planetary defense. So uh, JAXA, the International Space space community is very eager to find out more about such small objects such as this. So it's heading that way, going, uh, I think it's going to, should arrive by about 2031, so 11 years from now. Uh, and that's, it's racing off in that direction. But this is really, as I say, in the first time since the 60s, the late 70s, that we've had this amazing thing. It has, Hayabusa 1 has actually done this before, but uh, in recent years, but we're now seeing more countries, China on the moon, the US and, and Europe going to Mars to collect samples. And Japan has another mission coming mm -hmm. up in 2024 to uh, collect samples from one of Mars's moons. So um, it's it's all go now, and this is really a new start, a new era for sample return missions. All right, DW Silphikar Avani, thank you very much. Pleasure.